there guys it's Kim George here with another quick video for you from uh, Yoshi Geek and in this video tutorial guys I wanted to show you how to quickly create uh, beautiful and stunning workbooks that you can use to you know for your courses if you have a course that you're promoting if you are um, have a, a workshop that you're promoting you have a virtual summit coming up um, you know, et cetera, and et cetera. If you're anyone, whether you're a blogger, a digital marketer, and et cetera, um, that wants to be able to design stunning workbooks in minutes without having to start from scratch or having to worry about, you know, you know how to put things together, then this video tutorial is for you. And so um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to use ready-made templates to accomplish this goal. Now, these are some templates that I created uh, a while back from the Blazing Workbook Bundle simply because I had a lot of people asking, you know, um, just ba they, they were basically frustrated with the design process, right? They were like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of trying to start things from scratch. It's just too difficult. You know, um, do you have any workbook templates that I can get from you? So on and so forth. And so it prompted me to go ahead and create these three sets of workbook templates. And so what I wanted to walk you through today, guys, is essentially how to use these templates to create workbooks, um, how you can go ahead or how you can change colors in the workbook templates, how you can download them, you know, add your own content add your pictures, all that good stuff, and how easy it is to do so. So I am at the back end of my Canva account, and this is taking me, or it took me directly into the templates. As you can see here, um, in the templates, I have three different pages that you can choose from, okay? So one, um, and they're all different colors, okay? So um, this is actually, or I take that back, actually. So this is actually template set one. OK, this is just one of the workbooks that come in the set because there are three different templates or workbook templates that you can choose from. So this is the first set of templates right here. As you can see, this is what they look like. You have a copyright page in here. You have a table of contents page where you can basically kind of just go in and add in your first item in your table of contents. You have an about the author page, which you can use this. And let me increase this a little bit where you can use this page to tell, you know, the folks that are downloading your workbooks a little bit about yourself um, you know you have this section over here where you can actually add a picture of yourself so if, for example um, if you wanted to of course replace this with your own picture you just come over here in Canva and um, you're gonna do delete image okay and then what you can do is come over to the left and then you can upload a new image of yourself and um, you can add that image into uh, into this section over here. So I'm just going to use one of the pictures here just to kind of show you how it works. So you can just slide this over and then you can slide this down and that's it, right? So it's just as simple as that. And then you can use this section over here to give people a little bit more information about yourself, maybe some things they probably didn't know about you, so on and so forth, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and undo and revert back to the changes and so on and so forth. I also have an introduction page where you can introduce people to the course, uh, class, summit, whatever it is, lead magnet. If you're going to use the workbook for a lead magnet, you basically can just write in some information on the introduction page to kind of let people know, you know, what this workbook is for and so on and so forth. OK, and then um, over here we have a course overview. So if you have a course that you're selling, you can use this page to add in your course overview information. And this can include the modules. This can include the title of the module and then a little brief overview of what's going to be included in that specific module. Now, whenever there's a section or something that you don't need, you can easily come in and you can just go over here to the right and click delete group and it's going to take that away or you can go back to put that change back, okay? All right, I've also included a checklist and calendar of things to do. You know, people love to have different checklists and little mini calendars and things that they can use. So I put this in here into the workbook as well. Um, these are some question and answer templates and things like that that you can use. And then I have a, a separator here to let people know that this is module one. You can put the title of the module there. And then this is where you can come in and kind of write a little bit about the module, um, add some different things in here. Here's a note section, um, so on and so forth. OK. And so this is one of the workbook templates. Now, the great thing with this is that all of these templates can be edited in Canva. 
Um, and, um, you know, I use Canva Pro because it gives you access to more features. And so, you know, if you have a Canva account, you can definitely get access to these templates to go in and make your changes and things like that. Another cool thing that you can do with each one of these templates, guys, is you can do things like change the colors. So, for example, if you, you know, if you know you don't want to use this color, which is this pink color, and say, for example, you wanted to use maybe a color in a, you know, from a different, from a palette that you have. So if I wanted to use, for example, this dark green color, which I think is really pretty for this workbook um, cover, then what I can do is come over here. I can click on the new color and I can change this. Or actually, I know what I need to do. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to go back here. OK, and so basically I have an overlay here that you can just kind of bring down and then you can click on this color in the background. Click this button click new color, okay, put the new color, you see that? And then you can just basically drag this back over there. So isn't that cool? And that looks really, really pretty too with the pink and all that kind of stuff. And then of course you can go in here and add your course title, your brand name, things like that. So that's how simple it is to change up the templates, the colors and things like that. And then you can do the same thing, right? So if you wanted to change up the other colors in the workbook, for example, if you wanted to use you know, that same color for your borders, you can easily just come over in Canva to change up those colors. You see, really simple. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and back that out and then I'm going to back out the other change that I made to the first template. OK, but that's how simple and easy it is to make changes to this specific set of templates. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other two sets of templates for this bundle as well. Like I said, there's three. And so the other set is let's see here. Let me go in here to home and okay, I'm going to go here and let's see, this is template number one. Let's see, this is, let me see if this is the same set or this is a different set. Okay, so this is the second set right here. Okay, this is the second set of templates and actually, no, this is not. Let's see here. Yeah, this is not it, guys. Give me a second. This is it. Okay, so here we go. So I think that was the first set that I showed you, or maybe it was set number three, because I do have three different sets. Okay, so this is template number three. Okay, and so this is template number one. And so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this is a different set of templates. But here again, it's the same thing. Um, this is what the covers look like. And again, all of the covers are changed. You can change them. And I think this is really cool. So this is a different style of an about the author page, as you can see. So here again, if you wanted to change this, you could just come over, delete this image, and then you're going to go to uploads. You can find another image, of course, to replace that image. So I'm going to go back and just use what I used uh, previously which is this. So if I wanted to do that, I can just drag that there and there you go. You see how simple that is? Okay. All right. And let me uh, maximize this a little bit. So that's that. And I think that looks really cool. And then in this set of templates, you actually get an, uh, an opportunity to share your social media handles. So if, you, or if you're active on Pinterest, you can put your Pinterest brand name, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that kinds of stuff. And then it has like a little signature thing kind of here where you can use a signature type font and you can just add, you know, your information there. And I think that looks really, really cool, though. And then that's an introductory um, introduction page. Now, here's the course overview page on this one, which I think this looks really nice. Again, you're just coming in. You can change up the colors. So, again, as an example, if you wanted to use one of the colors from your palette, you can just highlight a specific color. You come here and you can go here type in a new color and there you go okay so again everything is interchangeable it you know it's everything can be changed this is another calendar of things to do it's a q a section of the workbook i mean there's all kinds of stuff in here okay now one thing that i did forget to note is that each workbook um template does have 
a couple of different additional sections. So for example, um, one thing that I always like to give students or people that are downloading my lead magnets or whatever the case is, I like to give them a recommended tools and resources list of things that I use. So I have a section in each one of the workbooks for that. And then I also have another section, and this is um, kind of, you can consider an upsell um, to let people know that, hey, you know, um, here are some other products and things that I offer in my brand. OK, so this is a section where you can actually come in, guys, and you can put in the product title. You can put in a little bit about what your product or your training or service, what they what it helps people accomplish. And then you can actually put a link here at the bottom that takes them to that specific product, service and et cetera that, you know, that you want them to get more information about. OK, and then last but not least is you can actually, um, I actually did add a page to all of the workbook templates that give people an opportunity to, to um, you know, to learn more about maybe a signature course, a signature product, and et cetera, that you're selling. So maybe you have a course that you're selling that you want to give people a discount on um, as, you know, as a VIP subscriber and et cetera, and et cetera, right? Well, this is an opportunity for you to be able to add that information here on this page, you can give them a code, you know, to get a discount, you know, and just add the information in there that's necessary for them to be able to get access to the um, the discount, right, or to that sale. So all of this is included, or this kind of, these three pages are included in each one of the templates. So I did want to show you guys that, okay? All right, so that is workbook template number one. We've looked at number three. So now we're going to look at course workbook template number two, which is this one. OK, and this is this one. And I think this one looks really good as well. Here again, you want to change your colors. It's not a problem for this one. Of course, all you would have to do is click on the outside of this. You can go find your color scheme that you want to apply. Go back into Canva, go to new color, highlight this, right click, paste. And there you go. It's changed. OK, so really simple stuff. All right. So these are the three workbook uh, covers that you get. This is what the copyright page looks like. This is what the table of contents page looks like. This is what the about the author page looks like. As you can see, it's a little different, but I think it's nice. Nevertheless, this is the course overview page or workshop overview page. All of this stuff is interchangeable. So if you had a workshop, then you can just do type in workshop, uh, you know, overview. OK, and there you go. OK. So all of the stuff in here is interchangeable. All right. Here's the calendar of activities. This is the section one title. This is where the module information goes, where you can get more, give them more information about the module, add different notes, so on and so forth. OK, that's module number two and so on and so forth. And like I said, when I keep scrolling down again, I have the same pages here, which is going to be one for an upsell. This is another one that uh, helps you promote all of the other products and services that you offer and so on and so forth. OK, so again, guys, I just wanted to show you guys um, how quickly you can create a really stunning workbook using ready made templates um, in Canva. Um, and also, once you're done making like all of the changes to your workbook, like, for example, if you wanted to use that color that I just um, used, let me just kind of paste this in here. I'm going to go over to new color I'm going to paste this. OK, and then maybe the title of your course is, you know, how to use Canva. A course and then maybe the subtitle is for beginners, you know, um, so that you can have stand out graphics to promote. I know that's kind of janky, but <laughs> just showing you guys what's possible. OK, so once you're done, like making all of your changes and things like that, here's the cool thing about Canva. OK, guys, when you're ready to download the complete workbook, once you've added all of the content that you want to add and things like that, what you can do is, OK, um, there's three different workbook covers, right? One for a workshop, one for a lead magnet, one for a course. So, for example, if I wanted to download all of the pages that are associated with the course, okay, for this specific workbook, then what I would do is come over to the right here, 
I would do download and I used to, I, I typically do PDF standard and instead of selecting all pages guys what you would do is you would come over here and in Canva you're gonna tell it okay I only want to download page number two I'm gonna skip page number three four and then I'm gonna do page number five six seven you know so on and so forth to get everything else because I don't really want these additional, um, all of the other additional pages, right? So you're just going to go through and select all of the other pages that you want to download with this workbook, right? So it's going to be pages 2 and 5 through 26. That's what you're telling it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And let's take a look and see what the final output is going to look like for the workbook. Now, again, this is just kind of with me changing the color of the page and only selecting page number, what was it, two, and then the rest of the other pages that are included in the workbook. So this is what it looks like. Drum roll, please. Woo! Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is the copyright page. This is the about the author page. This is all these other pages that folks are going to get from this workbook. Okay. So that is what it looks like. And, you know, in my opinion, I think it looks fantastic, right? I think it looks fantastic. Okay. So again, guys, uh, just wanted to show you guys how easy it is um, to, you know, if you're if you're if you struggle with design, you don't really want to try to sit and design things on your own or struggle for hours, you know, playing around with things, trying to, you know, design things like workbooks and stuff like that. You can definitely use these templates to get a jump start. Or if you do want to learn how to DIY design your own workbooks, I do have a, a helpful little mini course that you can, um, you know, um, click the link below to learn more about. It's called the um, Elegant, I think it's called the Workshop on Workbooks. Um, and it is available in the Blazing Branding Academy. But I just wanted to show you guys, though, how templates, ready-made templates and things like this will make your life a lot easier instead of trying to struggle to design workbooks and things like that from scratch. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Please do subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are staying safe out there in this crazy times that we're living in. So um, you guys take care. You have a blessed day. And thanks so much for tuning into this video tutorial, guys. Cheers.